Hey, what's up everybody? It's Joe Simpson. I just, are you looking at me? Uh, alias find, you cost me a lot of money tonight. Um, alias put me on task for finding a lure called the DT6 Fire Tiger by Rapala or Rapala. Um, <clears throat> looked all over for this lure. I didn't go to Dick's. I didn't really feel like spending the time or money going over to Dick's. Ran into Walmart and I found these two lures instead that I'm going to use tomorrow. One is a cotton cordell. I think this one's a little deeper diver. That's the cotton cordell version. It's Fire Tiger. And then I have the, everybody loves the Bomber A. And that is the Fire Tiger as well. So those two are going to have to suffice. So I'll swim those at two different depths and we'll try that. I know it's not the Rapala uh, DT6, but I really don't have anything that runs quite that deep. I think the DT6 is a six foot depth but we'll try it. So when I was there, of course, I couldn't just get two lures. I had to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 lures, 11 lures. So something I saw that kind of piqued my interest were these little guys made by Ozark Trail. And let me know if you guys think these suck, but they have eagle claw hooks and they're little lipless uh, crankbaits and they're small. They're kind of like the five size of the Rapala Rip and wraps, so I thought I would try it, and they were a dollar. Here's a white one that I got. That's pretty cool. Thought they looked really nice. Um, give them a shot, see if they work. And while I was there, you know, I was looking for something white, and I saw this pearl colored. It's a bomber. It's not a square A, it's called a shallow A, I think. Yeah, shallow A. So this is kind of a wake bait, but right now they're really crushing the banks. So I figured that would be a good bait to kind of throw out and run up and down the shorelines to see if I could get some of those bigger bass to come in and go after that. Now, I went ahead and got a couple more lipless uh, crankbaits. Uh, Pat has quite a few of these, and these are the uh, Cotton Cordell, you know, just your classic lipless. This one's in a like a gray fish natural color. I always thought those look kind of cartoony and animated and not that nice. So I saw this one, but it was out of the box and I talked the lady into giving it to me for a dollar. And I really like the finish and the paint on this one. Of course, I love that Tennessee shad color, which this one has. It has a little bit of orange on the bottom, the green on the side and the white. I thought this would be awesome. So I picked up three of those. And one of these lures right here, I've had several good catches on. One last winter with Pat and then one time in a kayak with another friend. So on top of the yellow one, which is the one that I always have had good luck with, I got this shad colored one and it's kind of got like a translucent uh, body to it. And there's a new place that Pat and I may go fishing if he has the guts to go with me. Uh, we can't tell you where it is because it's a big secret. Um, but they say work any of the points in this particular fishing area uh, at about 8 or 10 feet deep with uh, crankbaits and you'll definitely catch some fish. So I went ahead and got a couple eight and a half foot divers. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on real expensive gear so I just bought these uh, Berkleys and these are called Fusions and these are pretty cool. I think these look like winners. Um, and here's one at Berkeley. It's called the, well, it's called the Square Bull. And it's a 5.5 foot diver. So I figured I'd mix it up a bit. And I would get something that dives a little bit, you know, shallower. So, yeah, um, I intended on going to Walmart and buying two lures. I ended up buying 11 and a pair of sunglasses. Here's a tip of the day. If you guys don't have any of these sunglasses made by Yum from Walmart, they're literally $5 and they're polarized. They may not look that cool. They kind of look like uh, the Terminator or something stupid, but they really do uh, a good job of blocking the sun and they really make it easy to see into the water. You can see a lot more of what's going on. And the beauty of them is they're five bucks. So if you lose them, um, it's five bucks. So I don't buy expensive sunglasses. I always lose them. So that's my deal. That's my tip. Walmart, yums, back in the fishing section, get some. Uh, anyway, alias fine. I'll be on it tomorrow. I'll be watching after some bass with this fire tiger lures to see if they'll pull some uh, fall bass out of the water and hopefully we can get to the new fishing spot. Uh, but we'll see if we can get out there and do some fishing and catch some big fish. In the meantime, I'm just going to pound these ponds and I think Pat and I are going to try to get on the Occoquan this week. I saw uh, SB Fishing had a really good run in his last tournament. He had like two or three, four or five pounders and I would really like to repeat that kind of performance. So 
Um, stick with me and keep giving me lure suggestions. Remember, there's a contest going. If you give me a lure suggestion, whoever catches the most fish with their suggested lure in the 30-day period that I'm going to do this contest um, will win the Pissy Fun Phantom X reel with uh, your choice of rod. I have five or six different rods you can choose from. Nothing super great, but pretty good. Um, anyway, stay with me and tell me what lures you want me to use in the next few days. And I'll try them out and hopefully, you know, you'll beat the next guy and win the rod and reel. And I'll talk to you guys soon and have a good night. There you go. That's better. You just fishing that worm? Yeah, buddy. Got it. That's a good fish with that one. I'll throw, what color you got, browns? I'll throw blue and yellows and see if that's a trick. All right, we're going to catch fish. Ready? Time to catch some fish. Come on. Come on. They don't need a lot of speed, do they? No. They, they thump. Yeah, real slow speed. And there you go, right like through spots like that, they'll jump out of them trees. <clears throat> Got him? Yeah, oh yeah. He's yeah. pulling drag, he's a good one. Oh yeah. That's a nice one. <laughs> That's the color, huh? Look at that. That's a yeah, good fish, that's dude. A fish. All right. Told you they'll come. They're in there. They'll come out of them trees and get it. Smoked it. Yeah. All right. Am I rolling? What's that? A half pound? Three quarters. <laughs>